Game number three. Main Street, USA. And you are there. On an ordinary day, in an ordinary town, when some ordinary people doing ordinary things are suddenly struck by something extraordinary. It's time to play UFP. Unidentified Flying Brightsters. <laughs> Observe carefully. Some very ordinary folk doing their everyday jobs. You must notice all the details, because when the pranksters have done their silly business, things will be different. The pranksters will change something in this picture as unsuspecting Sam the tailor works carefully on a tuxedo. Jerry the jeweler. What will the pranksters do to this hard-working man who begins each day at the crack of dawn? And all those pranksters, what will change in the office of Doris the doctor? Observe carefully the work of Bertram the baker. What will the pranksters do to his bakery? And will George the jock still be twirling weights after the pranksters have landed? And when the pranksters arrive, what will happen to Barishnikovsky, the ballet dancer? Suddenly, turmoil, wild laughter, great giggles, a sure sign, the pranksters have landed, the pranksters have landed, and just as suddenly, the pranksters disappear. But some things have been changed ever so slightly. You must discover the changes. Take Sam the tailor. What has happened to his dummy? It is now wearing a bridal dress, not a tuxedo. And Jerry the jeweler, what has changed in his shop? Aha! The clocks, they have changed from six to nine. And what is different in Dr. Doris's office? Her patient has changed. From a crying baby girl into a boy trying not to cry. Oh my! What happened to Bertram's happy birthday cake? It has changed from chocolate into a white frosted cake. And what about George the Jock? He's gone from two small weights to one big dumbbell! Do it, Georgie! And finally, Barishnikovsky! He's given up his beloved ballet for the old soft shoe. <laughs> Pranksters! Another day that's not another day. A day when hard-working Americans fell prey to the UFPs. Unidentified! Flying pranksters. And you were there. Or were you? Game number four. It's time to play. Who's a Mawatchamacallis? The game in which we give you clues, and you tell us who or what. Once he was a boy named Peter. A bite got him started in a new career. This superhero is a sticky fellow who spins a web around his enemies. Trouble gives him that special tingle. He's Spider-Man. He's a fat cat. <laughs> 
who never sheds real fur. His tales are for reading in Sunday papers. He's very private, yet his life's an open book. He likes long naps on warm laps. He's Garfield. is a madman who throws wild and crazy parties. A sharp dresser, he never goes anywhere without his top hat. He's full of riddles and nonsense, and his manners aren't the nicest. A citizen of Wonderland, by his clock, it's always tea time. He's the Mad Hatter. He's a liberal fellow. He believes the rich should help the poor. You can always find him in the forest. He loves a maid, but she never cleans house. Straight as an arrow, he leads a band that makes England merry. He's Robin Hood. <laughs> a green giant, but not so jolly. When he sulks, his bulk bulges. Superhuman strength. When he changes moods, he has to change outfits. Wherever he goes, he carries his own banner. He's the Incredible Hulk.